Hey Pisces, how are y'all? It's me, Wes. Welcome to my channel again, Pisces. OMG. So I was meditating on you guys' energy and I was picking up on um, somebody moving fast, moving real quick. Um, just got a lot going on. Um, you could be running with um, a new person, a new spouse. They are just on the go, want to party, party, party all the time. Um, ever since this, this person, they seem fun, but ever since they came in your life, it's kind of like you haven't been able to get things done. Um, you would notice that you start things and you don't really get to finish. This person was sent to you to throw you off your path. Um, also too, uh, temperance. I was picking up on the temperance and the temperance speaks of self-control, like, you know, balancing yourself, whether it's your emotions or just, you know, getting your self in alignment, um, spiritually, um, that also too. Um, but let's see, cause I was picking up on a lot of Pisces, like, it's just... It's time to end something. This relationship, this new spouse, this new person, this new friend, mm -mm, a lover, whoever this person is. Well, you're being guided. You're gonna be got. You're being guided to get away from this individual because this person is is chaotic. They make you lose control. This person brings out a different side of you. And this is why I'm picking up on a temperance because I heard snap back. You really have to get back to yourself because like I said, this person, um, if you would notice your temperature, hell, your blood pressure could even rise when dealing with this individual. And so that's something that you really need to acknowledge because this person's always talking shit and running their damn mouth. <laughs> Got something to say. <laughs> And that's okay because everybody is going to talk. Everybody has something to say. And, you know, this is where you have to be confident and, and, and I heard brave. Most importantly, hold back. And, and remember and know who you are because this person wants your attention. That's the only reason why they're doing this to you. Mm -hmm. See, three of cups showing out. Party, 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 party. Somebody's living a fast life. Too fast, too quick. And then when you decide to get back to reality, it's kind of like, damn, I ain't really got no time or it's already that opportunity is gone. What else, spirit? Mm -hmm. You're going to have to definitely uh, set some boundaries, get strict about what you're doing. Also, too, this person in your energy, put them in their place. Set things straight. And I, this is why I said put them in your place because with this world card here, y'all already know, uh, this speaks of protection. <laughs> Ending cycles, rejection is protection. And so like I said, whoever this party animal is, this fun person that you have in your energy, break the bank and see 10 of Pentacles in the reverse. This person don't give a damn because they ain't got shit. Ten of Pentacles of the reverse speaks of bankruptcy. And so you are trying to accomplish some things and move forward. Like I said, this is a party animal. Real childish. This person don't have no sympathy how they act. They don't give a damn. I heard slutty. Uh, you know what's up with this individual? You don't have to rescue this person a few times. And this could be your spouse. Pisces. For some of you, this may be a friend. Uh, and, and others, this could be a spouse. And this person has a map on them. They talk hella shit. Love is in the reverse. Whoever this person is, y'all are. <laughs> I gotta say it like that. Knight of Pentacles, you know, and I, like I said, this person is slowing you down. Because I really feel like you have a lot of goals and stuff that you are trying to accomplish. But also, too, you having a hard time balancing because you want to have some fun and life is so hard. It's like these goals that you are trying to accomplish are really just maybe a little bit too high. They're not. You got this shit. It's just really this person in your energy is, is putting up some blockages and they really... 
Yeah. Thank you, Spirit. <laughs> and I'm getting confirmation because when I pick up, and y'all know I'm an energy reader. I just don't read tarot, just read the cards. I'm energy reader. So, you know, when I whoop, whoop, say it, see it, whoop, whoop, confirmation, it's, it's just amazing. Sorry. But with that seven of wands, definitely set some boundaries because this person can stay out all hours of the night. <laughs> This person lives by that saying, you got the Ten of Pentacles. I say it means bankruptcy. It speaks to this. So, with that King of Wands coming out like this, this person hustles a whole different way. Real grimy, real low vibrational. <laughs> I don't even want to <laughs> tell you what I'm speaking upon, but yeah. And what's so fucked up, they still broke. But, um, mm, mm, mm. Pisces, I really feel like this is a friend that you're dealing with, but it could be a, it could be a, um, your spouse. Just take it where it resonates, y'all. But see, this is that portrayal, and this is what spirit is trying to move you around from, um, uh, cause you definitely have somebody in your energy trying to take you out, um, uh, trying to unalive you. They just waiting for the right time. Spirit, why are they trying to unalive this individual? Right. Foundation. 44 speaks of a 44 broken down is uh a, breaks down to an eight, which speaks of abundance, unlimited abundance. And so with your death, that money brings in stability and puts them at peace. Or so they feel. But you know, always, it's always eyes in the sky. Spirit is watching. So, hey, what's done in the dark has to come to a light. Scales have to be balanced. Clarification. And this is why spirit moves us around from individuals. Yes, because this person, they really get on your nerves. Mm -hmm. You really need some balance. It's really time to um, move forward on your journey. And this is why spirit's been kind of hitting you so hard, it seemed like, Pisces. Just because they've been wanting you to call judgment on this individual. And you've been like, nah, spirit, I can balance this. <sniffs> they ain't no problem. They ain't no problem. But it's other shit going on behind the scenes. Because I get it, you know. Like, hey, I got this. I can stay out to this time. Get my work done. I can do my workout. I can do this. I can do that. But a lot of times, you know, I heard you slipping. Damn. Yeah. And it happens. It happens. It happens, Pisces. Don't worry about that. It's, you know, like I said, we are all living life lesson learned. But also, too, with this friend, just because they are, they're pushing you to slip. Like I said, they want you to fail. Keep in mind, Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So your good energy that you have, they are ciphering that. They are trying to learn the in and outs. Also, too, this person is setting up obstacles along your um, journey so that you won't make it. Also, too, while I was praying my throat chakra, I was all, it was just, it was mixed up. And so, um, maybe you stumble over your words when you're around this person. Start speaking up for yourself. Communication. The Eight of Wands speaks of communication. Make sure you put your foot down with this individual. It might end a little ugly, but... It needs to end. Mm hmm Because see, this person talks too much shit. And Paige Swords, this is gossip talking shit. You know, just a, mm, a little upper level okay. But baby, Paige Swords in reverse, it's just this person's talking to you crazy. Any sword in reverse talking to you crazy, that manipulation, it's just it's, it's too much. You can't take it. It's like you're ready to go. You just waiting on the right time to just move. Because it's like, when y'all have fun, y'all have fun. But when y'all fall, y'all fall. And this person is just, they're just bad news. They, they are, you know. <laughs> Look, three of swords. This person got other issues that they need to sort out. And you already know I'm going to say it. That's why I speak of healing. Because seriously, why? <laughs> why project all this negativity on someone, you know? Go fix yourself. 
Who paid them to come in Pisces energy? Knight of Cups. What happened with this past lover? You kept them waiting. You kept them a secret. You kept them hidden. Somebody from your past wants revenge. Bad. Mm -hmm. With this world card, this is why spirit is separating you because you need protection. This is why you're um, being moved. You're being guided in a new direction, yeah, because what you are um what you are doing right now is not benefiting you with that seven of pentacles and y'all know seven of pentacles speaks of investments and stuff like that and so you're not reaping the benefits of what you're dealing with actually yeah because your <laughs> motives with this moon card there's something else because my mind keep venturing off of this fact that this person is trying to un un unalive you. So let me dig into that and see what's going on. You got this five of pentacles, like I said. This person, ten of pentacles, and they reverse. They are broke. They bankruptcy. They out here doing shit just because. Just doing reckless stuff. I'm surprised we didn't see the food card, but it, who knows? It might come out. But definitely with this five of pentacles, this person is out on their ass. Hell, they might be staying with you. <laughs> Y'all might be you know doing some trouble bonding but see this is not what you need in your energy and this is where you have to realize when you come into these new relationships whether it's a actual um sexual relationship or a friendship or you know dealing with you know family members and stuff like that um people have hard times but uh, what I'm picking up too, this person always asks you for stuff. They are needy, very needy, always need money. You got this, you got them, you can't buy anything. Just, uh -uh. <laughs> like, it's just too much. But you have to keep in mind that this person, if you really sit and call judgment on this situation and really think and start meditating, baby, matter of fact, I'm going to do you one better. Pray on it. Ask God to show you and reveal some things. But be ready. Because what you're going to see in your spiritual uh, eye, baby, it's going to really awaken you to the truth. Look, Eight of Pentacles. It's going to really set you off and make you move forward and get away from this individual. Because you're going to find out all of this person hidden motives, what they've been doing behind the scenes. Because this individual, they sleep with people for money. They, this ain't no, this ain't no hustler. This ain't no get it out the mud. They making forty dollars, and you know what they say about the forty dollars. So you know, hey, <laughs> and then they want to call that we a power couple. We we got this. No, 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 no. This ain't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You need good good energy around you, Pisces. Definitely, you need some good energy around you. Look, I said when you start seeing, pray on it. When you start seeing, because right now, this is it's Eight of Swords, you feel kind of trapped around this individual. Like, there is no letting go. But when you find out what this individual done to you behind the scenes and pay attention to your dream state, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, you got to go. And it's coming because Spirit wants you to pick up on everything. And really, it's, it's a matter of showing you again and clarifying. And so... Cause I really feel like you don't kind of um you you see things that happen, but it's not like you don't want to accept individuals for who they really are, and the and the and the individuals that you accept for who they are are people that um was just really having a damn bad day. They was really working out their self knows, and so this is this is the time to take to make sure that you are balanced and. And really calling judgment on the right individuals. And that is going to bring you to this emperor, empress energy. Whoever you are. Whoever this resonates with. Stand up for yourself. What's your opinion? Look, Pisces. Eight of Wands again. Ace of Swords. Truth and Clarity. Mm-hmm. 
Because see, this person that you're dealing with is very manipulative. Very fucking manipulative. Very just, like I said, they're needy. And so they, when they ask you for something, it's not, oh, I just need $5. You know, it's, it's, you know, if you just give me $5, I can go do such and such and such. I'll get out your hurt. You know, they real just all in your energy, get on your nerves. And yeah, it's constantly bickering and it's, it's just too much. It's just somebody you don't need in your energy, Pisces. Definitely somebody you need to consider moving around because you're better than that. And then you're going to see your blessings come through. You're going to see everything. And sometimes, you know, when we are around individuals, they really block our blessings because they always have these hidden agendas and, and spirit can't really bless us and give us what, what we really want and need when we are around these individuals because <clears throat> they already feel like we have too much just because of our damn light, just because we can communicate. We made that choice to, you know, maneuver through life and, and take life, take this ass whooping that life thing be giving us. <laughs> I got to say it like that. But yes. You're going to you're going to notice how better off you are um, without this in individual in your energy. And some of you already know this is just confirmation, which most time readings are a confirmation just to let you know. See, <laughs> confirmation. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, spirit definitely wants you to walk away from this person. With this high priestess, um, this person gets readings on you just to keep up with your energy. See what's going on, see what things you have. And that's why a lot of things that you are working on um now you procrastinate pisces don't get me wrong we're gonna speak some truth here but you have that potential of getting a lot of shit done and really you know going to that next level and just staying focused and just matter just making sure that you finish these tasks and i i would start pisces because i feel like you start a lot of tasks at once they're kind of like mm, mm, mm. like i can get all this shit done but instead really invest in taking your time and making sure that you complete each individual task just you know go in order and if and when you don't complete that task if you have like half of it done just say okay well hey i can get the rest of this done you know later on tomorrow whatever the case may be but you gotta find some balance um because that's going to help you move forward along your journey because you like i said successful successful a lot of good things happening in your energy but you know seven of cups it's just a matter of, of getting over all this stuff. And and with this, um, and I'm just showing you these cards because that's what I'm speaking on. But the message right here, what I'm picking up um, for this is the cards. You have the Six of Wands, Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, and the Knight of Cups. You definitely have people in your energy steady gaslighting you, steady lying to you. They want you to stop on your journey. And this is that, this is that trap. This is why you feel like you cannot move ahead, get forward along your journey because you do have people in your energy really sending you a lot of negativity. Like I said, hidden motives, hidden agendas, whatever you want to say. Um, so definitely be mindful of telling people your business, your next move. Um, just really don't even say anything. Like I, I really feel like when you um, take the time out to really just woosah and um ask god hey can you just reveal some clarity you know to me don't be expecting it to come right away don't rush it just because spirit wants to give you time to calm down so you may um receive this message um at the strangest time but like i said um uh, spirit is trying to get you balanced right now and control your emotions get you to control your emotions and really just trying to get you overall your your overall mental balance because this person like i said you've been dealing with have really just they don't want you they know that you got a winning streak coming or that you could be on this winning streak but like i said they sending shit in your way to block you so just be mindful of that i wouldn't tell this person shit <laughs> this is what i was seeing when i was meditating shit is happening so fast so rapid it's like you can't keep up it's time to shut some shit down and when I say shut some shit down, Pisces, I mean this individual that's in your energy that don't mean you no good. Because why? Injustice in the reverse. And you want this card always in the upright. Because in the upright, this means that you're balanced. Shit, good things is happening. But as you can tell, this landed on top of this five of pentacles. Um, what speaks of loss and like your money being funny and stuff like that. And see, with this two of swords, you don't know where this shit is coming from. You don't know where all these... 
while this stuff is happening to you it's like hey I'm, I'm doing the best that i can out here i'm really setting goals and really pushing forward like i don't know why none of my stuff is executing like it should be because you have a lot of people in your energy that's negative and really going out of their way trying to hurt you and harm you and unalive you for money and just a lot of people doing things for selfishness you know selfish gains so definitely protect yourself consider moving in silence and don't tell anybody your moves you know still communicate with these individuals so you can get them so you can really hear the enemy telling you the truth let me say it like that because all these lies will come out and sometimes spirit will just make these enemies blurt their shit out and they be like i don't know why i just said that i do <laughs> but thank you so pisces with that being said keep your head up keep moving forward and don't let this situation get you down just really look at things um shift your perspective thank you for um, thank you spirit shift your perspective um when evaluating everything when you are sitting up calling judgment on on this situation just really evaluate and look at things from a different perspective so you can move forward and just start noticing things that you notice in this person what are a red flag as well as um things that you would notice in other people that way you don't have this problem in the near future you know you're going to deal with negative people but with this situation of pisces it won't be for this long yo ass will next time will be like okay well hey uh-uh I, I know how this, this is going to end out. I know this is how it's going to play out. Let me pray on it. Let me make sure this is what I need to do. But you're going to move around the next time uh, energy is in your presence like this. So definitely be mindful of that. But yeah, this is just a learned lesson. You're going to do great. You're going to you're gonna do good in life. Don't beat yourself up. These, these, these losses and these L's that you've been catching lately is just um, to let you know who's in your energy and who not to mess with you know um because you know when we wake into the top we always want to bless everybody and see everybody see everybody smiling you know really just see people gums and shit yeah i don't know about you pisces but i be really want to see some people smile you know really see that little thing thing in the back of their tongue <laughs> i mean y'all know just i want to see you smiling that hard because you want to see people happy and that's what it's all about helping everybody but sometimes everybody don't want to see you that way so pisces keep that in mind when you are dealing with certain en energies um and don't set your guard so high to where you close off set your boundaries up high the way people know that not to play with you you mean business but also to keep it really keep your poker face on keep your keep your game face on i gotta say it because you don't want to miss opportunities because when you end things it's, it's it's also causing brand new beginnings to come in and so like i said you don't want to miss any opportunities where spirit is really sending you people in and so you can really you know help you out along your journey and and so you can learn new things and so you don't want to miss out so don't become too closed off just learn how to be balanced and meditate your energy and align your chakras and stuff like that all right pisces i love y'all so much stay prayed up and i will see y'all next time bye